Hi, my name is Alex Castro Wilson, and I am a fifth grade teacher in the Renton School District at Benton Hill Elementary. And I'm so honored and humbled to be able to be chosen as one of the finalists for the KI Classroom uh, Design Competition uh, in my region. Um, I come into education, this is my seventh year teaching, but this is my 11th year in education as I previously was a paraeducator prior to coming to becoming a teacher. And so part of um, when I think about classroom design and when I think about my classroom space, this um, ability of being able to plan out kind of a, a futuristic classroom in a way that we look at different furniture that KI offers was really um, something that was exciting for me uh, because for me, my current classroom is uh, what I call, what I use flexible seating, which is where there are many different options for students in, in our seating and it looks a little different than a traditional classroom. And part of that reasoning behind why I do it is because our students aren't traditional learners. Um, now, when I think about my own personal educational experiences, when we had our traditional classrooms, they were very much stagnant in a way where everything was very individual, it was very territorial. And that this was my space, these are my things. And for me, I, in my classroom community, I really stress the fact that we are a community, and so I want things to feel like these are our things, these are our, this is our space. Um, and what I really encourage students is knowing with a background in special education and with multilingual learners is that we all learn in different ways and in different modalities, and so we really have to think creatively about how students have access to learning. And it's not, students can't just sit there and learn and obtain. That works for some kids, but not all kids. And so we have to be able to have a classroom setting and a, and a seating arrangement that really does allow for all students to really think critically about what works best for me. And so I encourage students to really think about, is this seat working for me? Do I need to stand up right now and do some of my learning while I'm standing? Is it, if I have the wiggles, do I need to get a wobble stool to use that? Um, I really also think about my classroom as a second home, uh, not just for me, but also for my students. As students spend so much time here that I want my space to feel welcoming and I want our space to feel that this is a, is a connection of them and an extension of them. And so part of where the design of how I, I designed my classroom furniture was really around intentionality around grouping, flexibility, but also really thinking about the uniqueness of the current student, the demographic that I work with in my school, and thinking about how some everybody needs something different, whether it's being in a whole group and having a collaborative space, whether it's in a small group, whether the furniture is more of a couch setting, or if they have the ability to kind of be more individual, if they need some of their own personal space um, to think and to learn, and so. That was a lot of my intentionality around the design of how I designed the classroom, which is a little bit different than your, your typical classroom. Um, and part of that makes it exciting and fun for kids, but also it just creates a welcoming environment. And that's my goal, is I want students to feel that this is their home. This is their space. And we should, yes, it's my classroom, but it's our classroom. We share this space together. We create this space together. We learn. We have hard times in this space. but. Ultimately, we are a family and a community no matter what. And so I think this design allows for a lot of those opportunities to continue kind of what my philosophy is in our classroom and really allowing for students to take ownership for their learning and ownership for what their needs are. Um, as they get older, as we in my school district, they go from fifth, uh, fifth grade in elementary school to sixth grade in middle school. And so learning some of those key social skills is important as they move forward. So I'm honored and privileged to have this opportunity to potentially have this furniture in my classroom. And uh, I thank you for considering our classroom space.